Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see about the end operator and also the not operator. Let's try to see it. In the previous video, we have already seen about the NOR operator and also the OR operator. We have seen it. Now let's try to see about this end operator. Let's say that we have a books, right? So if you try to see, these are all the things we are having. Okay. So these are all the books. So now what I want to do is I want to get the books whose quantity is greater than 30 and also the price is also greater than 30. So whose quantity is greater than 30 and price is greater than 30 not or so for applying that one what we can do is db dot books dot find so in the same scenario we need to use the and operator just like how we have used it for the or operator and it will take the array of query expressions so first one is like this json object so here i will be writing something like details dot quantity and here in this one we need to have something like dollar greater greater than 30 any to apply greater than 30 that's it so i need to have another another thing that is nothing but details dot price okay details dot price i can have it details dot price we can write details dot price and here also we can use dollar greater than 30 okay so now what is the thing i am trying to write i am trying to find the books using the end operator that is which is having quantity greater than 30 and also the price greater than 30 let's try to press enter okay let's try to do it dot pretty so that we can able to get dot pretty yeah so if i try to see the output here so we are able to get quantity 40 and price 45 yes both are greater than 30 and these both are also greater than 30 and here are these both are also greater than 30 so this is how we can apply the condition to get and operator to get quantity greater than 30 and price greater than 30 now i will try to show you the another scenario without using the end operator we can also get this data so for example let's try to see and uh, we will try to see the count for this one okay so count if i try to see show you the count count is three right let's try to see the same option so I can write the same query in a different way that dot find. So I can open it here. So I want the details dot quantity. Sorry, here I can use greater than 30. And I can use a comma oriented here. And I can use another one details dot price. It should be greater than 30 again. So dollar greater than 30. So this is also one and the same. If you try to see the count for this one, you will get three the same option. If you try to see the op output also, so you will also get the quantity is greater, quantity and price greater than 30 and here is also greater than 30 and here is also greater than 40, uh, greater than 30 you are having. So that means here if you try to see without using the end operator, if you are trying to use the two expressions at a time with the comma oriented, the MongoDB, what it will try to apply is, it will try to apply the end operator between the, between these two expressions then what is the use of this end operator then so then why we need to use especially end for these two query expressions why we need to do it so we can use this type of scenario right so already we have did these all the things so why why we need to use this end operator is now i will try to show you so now for example let's try to say that if you want to do the end operation for the same field for example I want to get the books whose quantity is greater than 30 and quantity itself is less than for 50. So that means between the 30 to 50, I want to get all the details. So what I can do here, db dot books dot find. So what is the thing I want to apply? So here end operator. Okay. So this is an array and here what I want to do is so details dot quantity details dot quantity should be something like greater than 30 okay and the same thing details dot quantity same 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 field only i'm applying instead of applying the price so i'm using the here so greater than 30 and it should be something like details dot quantity same less than 50 okay so in between 30 to 50 i want to get the 
books details if i try to press enter so okay let's try to see the pretty oh pretty why right yeah so now if you try to see the same output now here you'll be able to see quantity is 40 between 30 and 50 it is there and also quantity 47 between 30 and 50 it is there but the same thing if i want to write something like db dot books dot find of so here we have seen it right details dot quantity so details dot quantity so here how what i can do greater than 30 so okay greater than 30 and i want to have something like details dot same thing same details dot quantity okay details dot quantity it should be less than 50 so will this works it will not work why because if you try to see the output so you are getting quantity is 7 so that means it is nothing but what i can say it is not between the 30 and 50 and here also if you try to see okay it is between the 30 and 50 and this is also okay and this one is not greater than 30 it is equal to 30 so this one is also not coming under so quantity 20 so this is also not working so that means the the query what we have written is not working properly so what is the reason here is if you try to see here this is an object right json object for this json object if you try to observe clearly the keys of this both of both of this one are equal so in json object in javascript object or json object what will happen is so if both the keys are same so the first key the the last one will be overridden with the first one so that means it will try to check only the less than 50 only instead of having greater than 30 so because of this reason so we are we are not able to get the correct results so in this type of scenarios we need to apply the end operator okay this end operator will be very useful other than this if you are having if you are on to apply on two different fields means you can use di directly like this so that the mongodb server will apply the end between these two query expressions and the last one what i want to explain you is the not operator so not operator it will be how it will be is for example db dot books okay db dot books dot find so the not operator will be something like so you need to apply here instead of using this dollar not here so we need to use something like this okay details dot quantity okay so details dot quantity so here you can use something like here dollar not okay dollar not we need to use dollar not and here something like i can use dollar equal 30 so whatever the quantities are not equal to 30 i want to see it for example if i try to see the count here so i am getting seven books which are not equal to counting uh, which are not equal to 30 if you want you can also use something like instead of using not here so we have an uh, keyword that is nothing but ne so we can also apply this one so we also still we also get the seven thing so when we can apply this one is for example let's say that so this is not is there right so if you want to see greater than not greater than 30 okay so inverse of this one so you can use this count thing so we are getting four so if you want to see the pretty so not greater than 30 means is nothing but less than 30 only so you will be getting quantity 7 quantity 30 and these all things you will be getting so here so most most very rarely we will be using so this one if you try to see here if i try to show you the count okay the count if i try to show you it is 4 right instead of using the not i can use something like less than okay so this is also correct only so not greater than means the same thing you'll be able to get okay so somewhat we are getting different why because so not less than right less than not less than means so greater than 30 yeah here why we are getting a uh, uh, three only means so not greater than 30 means 30 also will come into that uh, picture right so we need to use less than or equal to 30 okay so if you try to see four will get the same answer so if you try to see the pretty also so now here you'll be able to see exactly we are having one item which is having quantity 30 so if you try to apply the same thing which is nothing but not greater than 30 sorry here let's try to see the pretty then you will be able to understand that 30 also will come here okay so that is the reason we need to apply less than or equal to so now very you know, now what i want to tell you is very rarely we will be using this not why because we all for all of them we have a replacement for this one so for equal we have a not equal for or we have nor like this we have everything so for very rare we will be using this not so whenever we will be using is if you have any query expression or anything which you uh, think that there is no replacement for uh, inverse of that one means 
then we can use this not operator okay so this is all about this end and the not operator hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you